Is it just me or does this girl look prego? to this feeding i actually went to the naples repticon yesterday it was pretty much a waste of time because it was like only five vendors there it was really small um, but i did get this sim container which is pretty cool it does have a little thermometer in there even though it is in celsius which i cannot read um, but it gives enough space for 12 little eggs down below i'll probably put like a sponge or something down there um, but this just allows uh, for the eggs to not be directly on the substrate so hopefully this next time around, we can have more success. As you can see, looks like she is pregnant again. Uh, she hasn't went into shed yet, so hopefully maybe she goes into shed this week for her double clutch. We'll see if she's hungry today. As you can see, I put in her little lay box. There you go. Probably gonna take it out because I don't want her pooping in there, but just to get her uh, comfortable again, since she will probably be double clutching in maybe two or three weeks, but I'm glad her appetite is back. Um, it's still good, and hopefully this time around, um, she doesn't go through any egg binding or anything like that. So let's move on to the next. Uh, we'll do Sassy. Let's see if she's hungry. There you go. Good job. I got Cheeto. She's all the way back in her enclosure. Let's see if I can get her a big hopper. So we can get her to come out a little bit. Come on, Cheeto. Oh, there you go. Look how big her head is, man. I want to move her up to the next size mouse, but she literally has like scale spread. And um, I don't know, I, and I do not overfeed her. I only feed her once a week, these little hoppers. And she's just growing so thick. After this, she's probably, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's 160 grams now. And then she she even tries to squeeze her little body into this little um, toilet tissue roll, which is pretty crazy. All right, let's feed Maple. One of my most active hog noses. That's why she's so lean. Let's see if she's gonna eat for us. She usually takes her time. Good girl. Good girl. I tried to take a picture of her yesterday with her in my hand, but she moves around so much I could not get a clear picture of her. All right, let's go to the next one. Got a little noodle sticking his head out. And I actually got a mouse that's missing the head, I just realized. We'll give that to him. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, let's move on to the other guys. All right, we got my corn snake. Might bump her up to a larger size mouse soon. Good job. How beautiful she is. She's still a little pink, but she's definitely getting, turning more of a white color. That little yellow stripe down her throat. Right, next we have Peggy. And last week I didn't film it, but she actually did eat off the tongs for me. So we'll see if she'll do it today. Or if she's just gonna be an a-hole.
Come on. She's just gonna go into her little hide. So I'll put the mouse down right here. <laughs> She'll go get it. Beautiful. She's actually getting more of a brown color as she ages. And next up we got Onyx. Uh, he's in his little hide, so hopefully he'll pop his head out. Come get this mouse. What's up, buddy? Good job. Sorry, right, man. I'm gonna leave you alone. Get your hot back. Definitely need to clean this water dish out today. All right. Next, we got Diablo. What's up, buddy? See if you're hungry today. You've been gaining weight pretty nicely, man. He's uh, up to 60 grams. Probably the laziest hog nose I have. He literally doesn't move at all. So I'm just gonna leave this in here with him. Under his hide. Put him under his hide again and he'll get that in peace. Right, last but not least for my feeding today, my newest member, a Lemon Ghost Wama. I haven't decided a name for him and he actually, I got him on Thursday and he actually ate for me. I didn't get it on camera so I don't think I'm gonna have any issues. Like he's under his toilet bowl. I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with this guy eating. Camera. Yeah, he's acting a little shy right now. Come on, buddy. Oh, you smell it now, don't you? There you go. Glad he has a good appetite. How beautiful he is, man. I love that head pattern. It looks like he has a trident on his head. So I'm thinking about naming him Sonny, but I'm not 100% sure. So if y'all have any name recommendations for him, y'all let me know in the comment section. 